Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today I'm gonna beat the Abyss with Z0, Chiori and Navia. Because, you know, there have been a lot of people saying things like uh, it's not worth it using um, Chiori and Navia together unless you have Z1 Chiori or higher. And uh, I don't really agree with that. Because even though it is true that it's optimal to have Z1 if you want to play Chiori and Navia together or basically any Geo character besides Navia, who doesn't have Geo constructs? Um, that doesn't mean that C0 is not worth it, you know, that it can't be done and that it isn't still good. Because, from what I understand, even if you just have one of Chiri's dolls on the field, um, she's still better than Albedo. A little bit better, you know? So, while two dolls is optimal, one doll is still fine. Yeah, and I just kind of want to prove that um, by doing the Abyss with my usual Navia team, but switching out Ningguang, who I use as a support for my Navia usually, with Chiori. And yes, you can see I've already done this Abyss rotation here, already got 36 stars. I used uh, my Noel team that I uh, showed in my recent Noel video, which worked really well. And on second half, I think I used uh, Chefru's Overload with Raiden, also a really good team. But yeah, this abyss is definitely harder than the previous one, I gotta say. Um, so yeah, I'm actually kind of interested to see if I can actually do this um, with C0 Chiri. I have not tried it yet, but I do think that it's possible. Now, my usual Navia team um, consists of Chin, Furina, Ningguang, and Navia. Um, yeah, like I said, I use my Ningguang as a support. She is built with 4-piece Noblesse, actually works really well. Kind of underrated build. Everyone always just plays Ningong as a DPS, but she's actually kind of good as a Noblesse support since she has a really low cost burst. So yeah, it's kind of easy to get a very good uptime on the Noblesse effect with Ningong. But like I said, today it's about Chiori, so I'm gonna use basically the same team but with Chiori instead of Ningong. And even though Chiori is uh, not really gonna support as much as Ningong, since obviously she's not a build with four piece Noblesse, my Chiori is built with four piece Husk. Um, she will do a lot more damage than Ningguang, so that should kind of even it out. And I'm pretty sure that with this team, we can definitely 36 study Abyss. And for the first half, I think I'm just going to use Nilu Bloom, um, since I haven't used it in a while and I just kind of want to do it. And I think it actually is going to work really well in this Abyss. Um, except for these Dendrospectus, nothing here is resistant against Bloom. And my Nilo is kind of built as a hybrid between DPS and Bloombot. So she does do some decent personal damage. So I think we should be able to kill these Dent Respectors even without the Blooms. And yeah, other than these Spectres, I don't think there's anything here that can really stand up to Nilo Bloom. So that for the first half. And then second half, um, the main thing I want to show in this video, Chiori and Navia together. So yeah, I'm probably just going to skip over the first half mostly and focus on what is happening in the second half. But yeah, with that being said, let's just start the run. Okay, let's see. Elemental skill damage, I think, is good, especially for the second team. Okay, the first half took a lot longer than I expected, um, but I think we should still be able to get the three stars here. Yeah, we're doing very good damage here. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Navia is so good. And Farina, of course. And as you could see, Chiori actually also did some decent damage. Even with just one doll. But yeah, that was the easiest chamber, at least the second half. So yeah, <laughs> let's see how we do in the next few chambers, the next two. Let's try to hit the Dentrospectus here with Kokomi while she's in a burst state. 
Yeah, that's doing some good damage. And now this tent respect and then we should no more obstacles. Okay, there we go. Get rid of the specters. Even though a few of them were immune to bloom. Okay, almost done. There we go. So I think that was like 1 minute 20 seconds, if I saw that right. So we should have plenty of time here for the mechanical array. Okay, yeah, already halfway done. Still have a minute. Should go into its second phase pretty soon now. Yep, there we go. Where's the robot that we need to kill? Over there. Okay. This guy is almost dead. And now we just have to do a little bit more damage. Let's try to get the burst back. Actually, we do have Karina and Sheen burst and Navia burst, which is basically all we need. So let's just kill it. And there we go. That was not too hard either. So yeah, so far, it's actually going really well. And people really think you can't use Chiri and Navia together at C0. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, um, <laughs> let's just do... Chamber 3 before I, you know, say any more. Because maybe this one is gonna be actually hard. Who knows? Okay, almost done here with the first half. And we're doing pretty good time here. Yeah, about 1 minute 20 seconds again. I think that should be enough. Let's get rid of its shield first. Oh fuck. Now we almost died there. Yeah, doing very good damage. And there we go. Yeah, that wasn't even close. That wasn't even close. Like, I would say this team actually works even better than when I had Ningguang in it. Chiori really isn't bad. I don't know why people think that you can't use her with any character who doesn't have a Chiyo construct at C0. But you definitely can. Obviously, it's not as good as when you have C1 or Chiyo construct. But it's still definitely something you can do, something that is viable, something that you can clear Abyss 12 with. I mean, like I said, this Abyss is actually harder than the previous one, much harder in my opinion. And still, it was not even close. It was a pretty easy run, pretty comfortable run. And before anyone says that's just because of Arena, well, duh, you have good supports in your good teams that you use in Abyss 12. Of course, you know, a lot of you people are using Bennett. And that's also perfectly fine, you know, I don't use Bennett, but... I use Farina, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I still see a lot of people complaining every time I want to show how good a certain character is. Oh, you're just good because you use this or that support. Of course you do. It's a team game, not a singular character game. Of course you use supports with your characters, you know. I, don't, I think these comments are just stupid, so before you type anything like that, just, just don't. And yeah, also, my Bloom team that I used in the first half isn't even, like, the best... Bloom could be, um, since, like I said, my Nilu is actually built as a hybrid of a DPS and a Bloom bot. She has only around like 50k HP instead of like the 75 that you would need to max out the Bloom damage. And also, of course, I don't use Nahida since I don't have her on this account. So if you have like Nahida and a Nilu that is built completely for Bloom, you could probably get even better times on the first half. 
making second half even more relaxing and then it could probably be done even without Furina. So, yeah. This was kind of a suboptimal run, so to say, and it still wasn't even close. So for any of you who are thinking about rolling for C1 despite not having the funds for it, just because everyone is saying that you need Chiori C1 to play with Navia, you don't actually need that constellation. It is nice to have, I'm not denying that, and I kind of do dislike how they lock certain parts of a character's kit behind constellations, but the thing is, they've always done that, you know? It's not really surprising. You don't have to like it, but it's not the first time it happened, it's not the last time it's gonna happen, and I don't really think there's a point in complaining about it as much as some people do. Especially if the character still works fine at C0. And yeah, I just realized I haven't even shown that she's actually C0, but you know, just that you have some proof here. No constellations whatsoever. I can't activate this constellation because insufficient materials. I don't have C1. So yeah, here's the proof. It was actually C0 Geori all along in this video. Probably should have shown it at the start, but you know, better late than never. Now, am I gonna roll for C1? There is a chance I'm gonna, you know? I am thinking about it, because even though I just showed that Z0 is enough, I am kinda tempted to go for C1, just because I do like Chiori that much. But the point of this video is to show that even at C0, Chiori is more than enough. So don't feel pressured to get her C1 if you're thinking about playing with Navia or any other Chio character that doesn't have a construct. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to show and say in this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.